James Webb Space Telescope confirms Maisie's Galaxy is one of the earliest ever seen named for its discoverer's nine-year-old daughter. This galaxy is one of the oldest realms to be witnessed by humanity, though it may not look like much in images, appearing as just a glowing orange blob of light. Maisie's Galaxy shows that when it comes to space, appearances can be deceptive. How astronomers confirm the age of Maisie's Galaxy. To determine how distant a galaxy is, how long its light has been traveling to us, and thus what period the universe was in during the time we have witnessed it. It, astronomers use a measure called redshift. Different wavelengths of light correspond to different colors. So in the visible spectrum, long wavelength, low frequency light is red, while short wavelength, high frequency light is blue. As light travels through the universe to us from a distant source, such as an early galaxy, the expansion of the cosmos, causes that source to simultaneously move away from us. This, in turn, results in wavelengths of light. The source is emanating getting stretched out, causing them to lose energy and change frequency. In other words, once bluish, high-frequency, and short-wavelength light gradually turns to reddish, low-frequency, and long-wavelength light. Astronomers refer to this change as redshift because the light is essentially being shifted toward the red end of the electromagnetic spectrum. Eventually, that light can even tread into infrared waters. Infrared light is basically invisible to human eyes. The longer cosmic light has been traveling, the more extreme that redshift is. In the case of early galaxies like Maisie's galaxy, light has been traveling for around 10 billion years before hitting the JWST's mirrors. As a result, Light that may have left Maisie's galaxy as part of the electromagnetic spectrum's visible region has been shifted down to the infrared section before reaching the Spaceborne Observatory. But this is exactly why the JWST is such a remarkable tool for hunting for objects in the early universe. Thank you for watching this video.